Hi guys, welcome back to Edgeware channel. Today we will be discussing about poisons and its antidotes. So what is toxicology? The study of effect of poisons on the function of living system. That is, if at all any material is acting as toxin, how will it act on the living system? And how can it change the functions of the living system? So that will be dealing in so toxicology. Toxicology is a scientific discipline overlapping with biology, chemistry, pharmacology and medicine that involves the study of adverse effects of chemical substances on living organism and the practice of diagnosing, treating the exposure to toxins and antitoxins usage. So poison. Actually all things are poison and nothing is without poison character. Only the dose permits something to be poisonous. That is, if at all anything is consumed in a higher dose, means it can act as a very good poison. But sometimes it cannot act as poison in a very low dose. So in biology, poisons are that substance which can cause death, injury, or harm to organs, usually by the chemical reactions in the molecular scale when an organism is exposed to that to a sufficient quantity. So what is antidote? Anti means against. So anything that can decrease the horrible or that harmful effect of the poison is termed as antidote. It is actually coming from the Greek word means anti dioni. That means given against. That is given against the toxicity of that or this something like that. So moving to paracetamol. So methionin or acetyl cysteine. That is an acetyl cysteine as the antidote. So in case of benzodiazepines poisoning, that is uh, usually benzodiazepines will be taken as a overdosing. So flumazenil will be reversing the harm, harmful side effects. So in case of cyanide poisoning, which is a very important case in case of toxicology and medicine, sodium thiosulfate or sodium nitrile is the antidote. In case of digoxin, it's digoxin fab and for heparin, it's protamine sulfate for iron poisoning. Yeah, that usually happens in case of children and elder people. Deferoxamine is the antidote. And in case of insulin, is the glucagon is the antidote. And in case of glucagon, insulin is the antidote. So in case of lead poisoning, succimer is the antidote. And for whenever the opioid poisoning happens, usually opioid uh, will be used as a drug abuse. Opioids is used in drug abuse in many cases. So naloxone is the antidote. In case of warfarins, vitamin K will be the antidote. And in case of alcohol, there are many people who are completely addicted on alcohol. So they will be consuming higher amount of alcohol and this can produce many chemical reactions that may lead to death. So fomipizole is, will be reversing the effect. In case of aspirin poisoning, sodium bicarbonate. And in case of anticholinergic, we will be using physostigmate. And in case of anticoagulants, vitamin K or fresh frozen plasma will mainly use, that is FFP. Uh, whenever a poisoning happens with calcium channel blocker, it is calcium or glucagon is added. In case of carbon monoxide poisoning, uh, obviously we will be using oxygen, which is the best treatment for carbon monoxide poisoning. So oxygen will be competitively binding to the hemoglobin. Now in case of methanol poisoning, it is the ethanol and methanol is very dangerous and ethanol is less dangerous than methanol. So in case of ethylene glycol, the same is formipizole, which is used in alcohol poisoning. In case of hydrofluoric acid, it's calcium glucuronide and serotonin reuptake inhibitors. It is ciproheptadiene. In case of tricyclic antidepressants, that many people use tricyclic antidepressants to prevent depression. And whenever we use the antidepressant drugs in a very high quantity, this can lead to many problems and mental trauma. So sodium bicarbonate is the reversing agent. In case of sulfonylurea, it will be octreotide and glucose. And methemoglobin poisoning, it is methylene blue. And isoniazid, it's pyridoxin. And pardon me for the spelling, isoniazid, it's actually. And for copper, the penicillamine, which is very common. And penicillamine is always the OTC drug. Like. And for cholinergic poisoning, you will be using atropine. And whenever organophosphates is poisoned, so we will be using the pralidoxin. In case of valproic acid, that is levocarnitine and methotrexate, it's leucoborin. In case of heavy metals like arsenic, lead, mercury, etc., we'll be using bile, British antilucite, and sometimes DMSA. In case of dog poisoning, it's brucine. 
in case of cat poisoning it's strychnine in digitalis toxicity we'll be using dg bind dg bind that is binding to dg dg bind theophylline and caffeine whenever we are using more amount of caffeine or theophylline so we'll be using an antidote such as esmolol esmolol so in mouth poisoning charcoal charcoal is actually considered as a universal antidote because of the adsorption capacity curare tencelone comadens actually the warfarin uh, vitamin k maxelf whenever maxelf poisoning happening we will be using calcium gluconate so it will be reversing the maxelf activity so in case of penicillin toxicity we will be using epinephrine and in case of vincristine we will be using hyaluronidase so mestinone toxicity we will be using atropine barbiturates barbiturates actually we don't have a uh, proper antidotes so we will be treating the symptoms and we will be giving more oxygen and we will have a special treatment protocol and charcoal can be used in case of isoniazids, vitamin B6, salicylates, uh, charcoal, quinidine, sodium bicarbonate. Actually, sodium bicarbonate used in many, uh, many toxicity. Cyclophosphamides, uh, mesna is mainly used. In case of dopamine, it's phentolamine because phentolamine uh, reverses the activity of dopamine. Fluorouracil, we will be using leucovorin calcium. And chloroquine poisoning, we will be using diazepam. In amphetamine, this is very important because amphetamine, we will be using propranolol. And in case of monoamine oxidase inhibitors will be using phentolamine in case of beta blockers that is actually many people are using beta blockers and whenever it is used in a toxic dose so you should have to reverse by adding sodium bicarbonate thank you